Eighth. Eighth runner up. That's great. Why are you 28. crying? Oh, well, how many people were in it? Twenty nine. Why do they even make a sash for that? I don't know. Most women call that second to last. I'm going to show you guys a little hack. Um, just push diet so you don't get fat. Do you love her? Yes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to stay with her? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> really? Uh. Why? Why can I have that half? Okay, here. But why did you want to give me that to begin with? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's but literally why, the same sandwich cut in half. But why didn't you want to give me that one first? I don't care which one you want. Here, you want this one? Take it. No, I want that one now. Blaze! Which one do you want now? It's the same fucking sandwich. Never mind. I don't want anything. That was crazy. You only see girls acting up like this. Hey, guys, but well, let me know. How long does it take you to get to the I can't stand your fucking ass phase of the relationship? Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. <laughs> so stupid. This is a day in the life as a crazy ex-girlfriend. I wake up at 6 a.m. and the first thing I do is look at my shrine. At 10 a.m., I jump on Instagram and I go through every girl that Tyler follows and sees if he's liked any of their posts. I found one. Around 11 a.m., I practice a little voodoo. That's my dog, Cornelius. Good boy. Then it's lunchtime. I still have a few strands of Tyler's hair, so I just kind of snack on those. Because I still have Tyler's location, I like to watch him eat lunch. 3 p.m. I sent a disparaging email to Tyler's boss. This will teach him a lesson. Come nightfall, I show up to Tyler's house. I secretly duplicated his key when we were together. I try to be very quiet when breaking into his house. Around 11 p.m. I spray a bunch of airborne tranquilizers under his door to guarantee that he's asleep. At 11.15, I go into his room just to check on him and tuck him in. I want to make sure he's getting good sleep. Okay, and that's my day. See you guys next time. Look at this silly, stinky little bean. If you fuck him just right, you turn him from a girlfriend straight into a detective. And maybe even a stalker. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yo, my sister just came back from McDonald's, got me the grimace shake. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Hmm. Bitch, this is ass. Damn! Damn! Why you have two baby daddies? Ha ha, bitch, you wrong. I got three. And cut it pussy good, nigga. We not gonna keep the same fucking nigga that act wrong. We get another one that's gonna act right. Just like this one. He ain't act right. We finna have five. <laughs> Girl, so wait. The fuck? This ain't no green time. I don't know if she's a troll or not, but I, I'm pretty sure she's just a degenerate. Watch out. Don't let your kids chill in the hood for too long. On my birthday, we do chest. Because if you're trying to shove your salami in a thick mommy with beef curtains looking like pastrami, your pets better be fucking. I beg your pardon. Damn, people get drunk at the club and try to hit on the chicks and they're plastered. That shit's fucking cringe level a thousand. Sounds I can get it now. Don't you I just want it all. Oh my. She more men or women. Me, bitch, I cheat. Fuck out of here. Oh, 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 oh,
a cheat, okay? So keep me in your eyesight at all times, bitch. Niggas think they run game, bitch. I run the game, bitch. I invented a motherfucking game, bitch. Don't play with me. Now, if my niggas see this, bitch, it's not me, baby. I love you. I love you, daddy. It's not me. I promise. We in love and we gonna get married. And I'm finna eat it up when I get home. I need a YouTube so I can block it on my nigga phone. Where the fuck they find these people? That's a fucking wig, right? Because that uh, hair is real strong on the front. What's up with that? Oh, shit. Ugh, I do not have enough money to pay rent. What am I going to do? Mm, I think we can figure something out. Oh my god, guys. It's fucking Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of these. Am I wrong for this? Um, listening to me because you're not really responding to what I'm saying. Well, I mean, you are my sunshine. Well, that's sweet. Thank you. But it doesn't really change the fact that you're not really hearing me right now. Well, I mean, don't we just have to embrace the journey? Well, of course. We're always just going to embrace our journey, whatever that's going to be. But we got to talk stuff out and figure it out. Life is too short to be anything but happy, though. Yeah, you're right. And I, we're not, like, unhappy. We're just talking about it to fix it and make it even better. Yeah, well, you're going to be my bride one day. You know that, right? Yeah, soon. That's where we got to figure this shit out and have talks and talk about it. Best things in life are dogs and... Oh, no, I've seen that walk before. He's in some shit now. There's a t- I fell asleep with my teeth in last night. Oh, uh, ah. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, fuck me. I guess, is that meth mouth or what? But... Hey, some of these bitches will say that they could gum you if they pop their teeth out. I, I'm i not down. I'm And after seeing this, it's going to be quite an interesting gumming, isn't it? All right, y'all. I found a girl. With, I found the gumming clip right here. All right. You okay? I told you I was going to put it on you. I told you. That is totally inappropriate. Guys, healthy relationship advice 101. Pump your girlfriend or your wife's gas every chance you get, okay? Because this is the only alone time you will ever have. They're always fucking talking nonstop, okay? Can you go again? Oh my fucking God. How old are you? Uh, 28. Let's say I wanted to take you out. How much do you expect me to spend on a first date? Depends where we're going. What's your expectation though? I don't really have any. So I could hit you up and say, hey, let's go to Burger King and Get slushy? No, no, no. No, I mean, at least, like, you know, nice five-star type of restaurant, and then depending on how it goes, depending how I like you, and that all kind of goes with uh, me even saying yes for a, for a first actual date. So that, that takes a toll. Okay. So five-star restaurant in Miami, how much is that going to range? Depends how many drinks you'll be ordering. Average. Um, anywhere from 300 to 800, maybe. Jumpstart, yeah. So, <laughs> realistically, you expect a man to spend $800 on a first day? Yeah. Has it happened before? Yeah. Well, guys, I gotta say, you know, I don't really agree with any of the guys that say that you should be asking a girl to go 50-50 on a first date. Because, for one, it concedes your power, you know, like, you're supposed to have status and like it's you're asking him to go 50 50 it's like if i ask my homeboy if he want to go to dinner it's like i might pay for it i don't really care so if you're like that broke it's a problem but 300 800 is insane i could take a girl out to a really nice situation for like 100 150 dollars in san diego and everyone would be eating good and we can see how it goes you know so i'd say at least be prepared to spend like 150 bucks max but don't for a second try to get in that conversation of whether or not you're going to split the bill or whatever. Just pay the fucking bill. That's what you're supposed to do. What the f- Is that not big? Put the 
Is that? Ah, you're teasing me. Naughty, naughty. had implants in your cheeks oh god you've had a dimple made oh, in your please, chin please, you've had please. your lips enlarged oh, please. you've had your eyelash eyelids reconstructed eyelids reconstructed it's stupid none of Come it's on. true none of it's true none of it's true it's bs they made it up they lie they don't want to give me credit for anything damn michael jackson really was feminine huh he even took on feminine logic gotta love it when I go on a trip, I always pack like I'm going to shit my pants twice a day. I'm gone for two days, but hey, you never know, the hole is unexpected. <laughs> This shit's fucking terrible, but man, y'all heard that gay country? That shit's fucking out of pocket. <laughs> Gotta love the animals. Let's see what I got for you today. All right, guys. You know, I want to take a second again to touch on accountability. And I think with, you know, as I mold this idea over, I initially was like, you know, the females, they don't take accountability and it really affects the relationships. And if you're going to be in a relationship with a woman and it comes time for them to take accountability because a situation took place, it's important to make sure that accountability takes place. And then if you can, it's like a test. You can see if they're running from it, if they handle it well, and then it's sort of like, you know, if they aren't able to take accountability, then you know that they don't have good self-discipline and things of that nature. So initially, that's how I was going to approach the conversation. And well, that's how I did. But, you know, there's an accountability problem with the entire human race. And as much as I want to say, like, the girls have a problem with accountability, and they do, I have to say that the guys have an equal issue with accountability. So, you know... If I'm going to tell you, like, hold your girl to account, make sure she's accountable because it's going to reflect her self-discipline and stuff, I have to say, are you accountable? You know, because it's going to be the pot calling the kettle black if we're not careful here, you know? So at the end of the day, like, you're going to have to be as accountable as you expect someone else to be. And if you're not, then you're probably lacking self-discipline too. And if you're lacking self-discipline, well, then you're probably not performing that well in your life. My entire life revolves around self-discipline, getting myself to do what I don't want to do, um, you know, taking accountability for anything like it, it, it's just uh, the self-discipline, the accountability goes hand in hand with living your life properly. So it is important to put the person that you're in a relationship with through that test. But it's very important that you put yourself through that test, that you make sure that you're up to standard and that you're getting this shit right. You know, it's one of those things that it feels like, man, I don't think I want to do it. Or it feels like something that society's told us to be afraid of. But at the end of the day, it's very empowering to take accountability. It's very empowering to make a mistake and call someone. Maybe you had an argument with someone and a month later you realize you're wrong. To call that person on the phone and say, hey, man, I realized I was wrong in that conversation is much more empowering than it's embarrassing or something that you don't want to do. And so you got to get around to doing it in order to see how it makes you feel. So uh, same thing with like having pride in a job. Like you have to do a really good job to feel that pride. But if you never really did it, then you don't know what you're missing and you don't know what the actual reward is. So I happen to be on the side of a warehouse. So you hear trucks driving by. There ain't shit I could do about it, but I want to get this message out. So, uh, you know, that's a message about accountability. Um, it's, it's, imp it's important that if you're going to be in a relationship with someone that they ha they're able to hold themselves to account that accountability is taking place because the relationship's not going to last long term if an individual just can't take responsibility for their actions, can't take accountability for something that took place and fix the problem. And uh, so, I mean, test them, test yourself, be on the lookout for it. Let's, uh, let's maximize that accountability and responsibility. All right, guys, I appreciate you getting to the end. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to see you on the next one.